Hey you awesome friends, this is your pal Edward Zier speaking, I trust you well and hope life is good. Hey, just want to spend a bit of time with you this morning friends, I've had a few of you wonderful requests around the world, um, wonderful people around the world make requests and say, Edward, what is Darling Harbour? I've heard that Darling Harbour in Sydney is beautiful and can you tell me what it looks like? So I thought, what a better day to do a walkthrough than a beautiful Monday morning. Now I'm actually walking through, um, this is actually called Darling Quarter. It's a little bit behind Darling Harbour, but we'll head up to Darling Harbour soon, so bear with us. We're about five minutes away, or four or five minutes away. And uh, yeah, I just want to show you, um, it is a very beautiful spot. I actually run a lot of meetups, a whole lot of my events around here for obvious reasons. But you can sort of see where I am right now. To my left, um, you're going to start seeing the ICC, which is the International Convention Centre. If you look to the centre of the camera, you'll see a lot of construction. They're rebuilding part of it. Uh, part of it used to be very dilapidated, and it's really good. A bit of trivia for you. See that stack right there? Right there, that stack? It's actually not part of that building. What that stack is is actually um, what takes the fumes up from the tunnels underneath. To my right, my awesome friends, this is the actual uh, Chinese Friendship Garden. I understand it's, uh, uh, what it's called. It's beautiful. I should do a walk through there one day. Um, and um, but yeah, really good spot full of great people. So as we continue our walk, friends, uh, I am on the. If you jump on Google Maps and check out where I am, I am on the left side of um, Darling Harbour, and I'm coming up that way. So and we'll be going across the right. I'm actually off to a uh, wonderful client and friends networking event, James Killicks, and uh, yeah, I thought a good time to do it. You can see the ICC to my left. Now this is the convention centre of convention centres. Apparently it's only rivaled by the crazy big ones in Dubai and London and that sort of thing. But it's a very nice convention centre. Uh, yeah, it's absolutely incredible. I think it opened maybe about a year and a half ago and it's absolutely incredible. Yeah, we'll keep it moving. And uh, as you can see on my right, this is SIDFest that is coming up. And they've got these big inflatable structures. and. Whatever they are, please don't ask me because I'll get it wrong. I won't tell you. Oh, and I'll show you this as well. I should do actually a walkthrough of the ICC, but I don't know if you can tell in this video, but see that screen with that code flickering very fast. Really, really cool and great spot. And as well, a guy there with a whipper stripper. Now, I always say this, Monday mornings is when a lot of uh, maintenance work is carried out for obvious reasons. So you always have people tearing up lawns and gardens and cleaning stuff up, and this guy's obviously uh, going right for it. And uh, yeah, it's really cool. This is Sid Fest to the right. Oh, and there's people lining up, so there's obviously something going on. And uh, there's always uh, cool things going on. Yeah, we're getting closer to Darling Harbour. If you see that bridge in front of me, as we enter that, we sort of enter into, well, this is all Darling Harbour, but we sort of enter the actual water part of it, so to speak. But we are making good progress. Let's go up to the left. It's really cool. You can't sort of tell from here, but there's this roof which has like grass on it. <laughs> um, you can't stand on it though, unfortunately. You've got a cool balcony there. That balcony right there uh, at the ICC is a great spot for taking photos. And as I advance the camera forward, you can see more absolute greatness. We're doing good. We're at 3 minutes and 10 seconds. Thank you. Thank you for uh, watching my long walkthroughs. I know a few of you... Um, I know I always used to go on saying, never do a video over a minute on LinkedIn. Uh, but I find the walkthroughs, that's where an exception applies. So yeah. Uh, just over to my right as well. Um, we won't be going in there, but we, um, that's like more of a water park for kids. Um, so you see a bit of water stuff there. Uh, right now it's about maybe 25 degrees, 26 degrees, which I think is uh, about 60, 70 Fahrenheit. I probably got it wrong. Um, so I apologize to my wonderful American friends. <laughs> I'm learning Fahrenheit. Uh, I am getting there slowly. So if you are from North America, I'm sorry I keep screwing up Fahrenheit. I am slowly getting there. I worked out though that 90 degrees Fahrenheit is like 45 degrees Celsius here. So slowly getting used to it as I work with more of you incredible uh, Americans. And thank you as well. I really appreciate you guys. So you can see a uh, yeah, beautiful, great water park. Um, we need to take our kitties there at some point too. In fact, I'll suggest it to my wife, Lassie, when I get home. Oh, amazing woman. Love my wife, Lassie. She's incredible. And you can see more of the ICC. Really, really good. Slow down pedestrians about. Yeah, you got a lot of cyclists going through here and um, they're pretty good. Yeah, obviously there's been a problem. You can see there and um, cyclists. Now, I love cyclists. Hello, cyclists um, and a lot of residents are seeing there's always a bit of tension between those two factions. Um, I think cyclists are great and, and people are entitled to do it. Uh, however, you do get a few unfortunate cyclists that make it difficult for everyone. So, um, yeah, you know, it's like all groups of people. You'll have a hundred people and one person's a lunatic and 99 people are doing the right thing and then the 99 people get judged for that lunatic. Well, I suppose civilization is that. Now, these are one of the um, main motorways 
I can't remember what it's called, uh, but based on these motorways you can see, if you head that way to the right, that'll take you to, um, what am I trying to say, the Sydney Harbour Bridge. So if you sort of head that way and around the Sydney Harbour Bridge, and I'll show you where I am, and feel free to check this out on um, Google Maps. Uh, basically, Sydney Opera House is that way, and the Harbour Bridge is that way. So I'm heading north right now uh, as we're going to Darling Harbour. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool, these bridges. Uh, to be honest with you, I'm usually just dashing through here going to my meetings, and um, I don't think I appreciate Darling Harbour as much as I should, so I thought, what a, bit, what a great day for a walkthrough to demo it. Yeah, you got the ICC, a lot of cafes and restaurants um, there. Probably worth a look actually. I tend not to go there, there's sort of um, a lot of the more fine dining and bars. I tend to stay out of them. Um, I feel more comfortable uh, at like cheap eats and takeout joints. And there's a lot of financial thing. I just, um, I said, even if I had limited money, if, let's say I had limited money, um, I'd still eat those joints as I just feel more comfortable there. Uh, just my, uh, my working class origins which I love, <laughs> so there you go. Oh yeah, so we're coming into obviously Darling Harbour now, and this is the beautiful water part of it. In fact, I'll do another walkthrough another time, where I actually spend more time walking around the water part, but I thought I'd show you sort of the walkthrough in there. So yeah, it's absolutely beautiful and stunning, uh, and you get a lot of shows here as well. Um, so over there, that's um, sort of the west side of Novotel Darling Harbour, and that's away from the city, and that side over there is the uh, city side. Yeah, so obviously city side, what I'm trying to say is like Sydney CBD's there. So you can see it, there's that construction we saw from back there. Uh, they're really doing a good job. And uh, yeah, we're doing good. So heaps of construction, heaps of stuff going on, which is very, very cool. And then of course as well, if I look back and I'll also turn to my left, and you can sort of see the beautiful Darling Harbour to my left. Hopefully it's not bouncing too much, because I'm sort of walking forward and uh, holding the phone. Uh, always vertically towards me, if that makes sense. Beautiful view, uh, very, very stunning. Uh, a little bit, uh, I was hoping it was a bit more blue skies today for the sake of the video. Um, and just so you know, it's not smoke. Um, in terms of the fires, thank you everyone for your love around the world. The fires, are, I'm not sure, I hope I don't speak out of school here, but I think the fires have almost stopped. Um, if I'm wrong, please uh, go easy on correcting me. And I just gotta say, bless our firefighters and emergency services too. A lot of them have been injured and quite a few have died. So it's been extreme times in our city. So, but thank you for your love around the world. Um, and by the way, I got it easy. I live in the cities, so people in the country. So yeah, you can see um, Darling Harbour. Um, <laughs> someone's quite often, I don't know if you can hear some, probably hear some bashing, quite often you'll have people on like boats underneath doing maintenance under the pier. So you can see this pier right here. And quite often you'll have actual maintenance occur under it, which is incredible. So yeah, um, a lot of construction here. Um, I honestly don't know too much about what's going on here, but it's like a huge Darling Harbour complex. So I'm um, kind of glad I'm doing the video now, actually, because it'll be good uh, seeing it. Uh, I'll do a walk through once it's done. And yeah, as I turn on my left, I see the beautiful Darling Harbour in all its, all its glory. Yeah, so there you go. I'm actually going to an event at the Tokyo restaurant, which is in this complex here. Just going to pop in, say hello to my wonderful friend James, uh, meet the organiser and take a few selfies. I've actually been in the Tokyo restaurant, so I need to find it. So there you go. Ah, and the sun's coming out. Yes. Blue skies. Blue skies on Mars. Remember that film Total Recall of Arnie? Blue skies on Mars. Get your ass to Mars. Get your ass to Mars. Anyway, we're here to talk about Darling Harbour, not Arnie. A little bit of love Arnie. Pity he got a bit political towards the end, but still love the guy. He has to, has to do a lot of wrong to undo all his awesomeness. Yeah, so there you go, my friends. Um, it's obviously all a bit quiet now, but you have like uh, water taxis, jet boats, you have um, a lot of, I try to say, a lot of yachts here. And quite often as well, um, they'll put huge um, pontoons here, you get a lot of fireworks and stuff like that. Oh, and that's the location where I'm going. This is the awesome Tokyo Hotel. Uh, which I was looking for, so yeah, I'm glad to find it. So there you go, my friends, this is me. Uh, I better hit my event now, but I just want to say, uh, bless your amazing hearts, thank you for your love, and um, thanks for enjoying my walkthroughs. I was going to say, uh, if you love it, please uh, smash that like, comment, and share. Uh, the more exposure I get, the good for everyone. And of course, as well, uh, if you need to help with your, in terms of becoming a master of social influencer, hey, just drop me a line on LinkedIn or Facebook, whatever. Thank you, my friends. Uh, bless your hearts. You stay awesome. And... Have a great week to you. I'm glad you enjoyed my walkthrough of Darling Harbour. Bless your amazing hearts.